Pe won ibonyo man do man again ti o ka bun ma ze ogun na ya no nu ko be tv no bo sita ke na lo yan o nu so iso kwa ncho ile ba anya abun mo anya lo mo anya na ali igbo mo anya lo mo anya na ali igbo a woman marrying a fellow woman in igbo land yes it happens it is a cultural uh something yeah I believe it happens and it is true that it happens but um, is it the same as same sex marriage the world is promoting now you know some persons are trying to say that um even in Igbo culture a woman can marry a woman so anybody can marry anybody is it truly an Igbo culture i remember some time ago chimamanda raised an issue regarding same uh, woman marrying woman in Igbo land those are persons mis- misconstrued her to believe that um, a woman can actually marry a woman just you decide to just see any woman you want you go and marry her is that really so and that question i want to ask this same woman marrying a woman in Igbo land is it in a way kind of supporting lesbianism is lesbianism part of Igbo culture? Since a woman can marry a woman, of course. You can, how can you just marry a woman without Imo? Anna Akono. <laughs> Once you marry a woman, I can Akono now. Is that really the, the, the issue? Alright, so let me explain this culture very well. In Igbo land, a woman can marry a woman. Yes, a woman can marry a woman. <laughs> Are you kind of surprised? Yeah, no, no, no. Don't need to be surprised. The woman can marry a woman in Igbo land, but there are situations or circumstances, you know, that can warrant this. Um, there were some persons who believe in Igbo Jewish ancestry. They will mention Abraham and Sarah. How Sarah told Abraham to get married to her maid so that. Um, she could bear her a bear him a child and that was how Ishmael came to existence of course um, those championing Igbo Hebraic relationship they always focus on this point to talk about a woman marrying a woman but uh, this is a different topic it's not the same thing it's not the same thing now in Igbo culture a woman can marry a woman when she is a barren woman she is a barren woman she cannot have a child and she knows that and before she does so she have she has she have to discuss with her husband this is what i want to do i want to marry someone for you yes she will go out look for a woman not the husband marrying she will be the one to pay See, before Igbo women and not like British, they are not see they are making their money in the past. They are not to react. Hmm? They are not to react. They were making their money. So you cannot just see an evil woman to just rest like this and be waiting for a man to do everything for her. It's impossible. They make their own money. So now no the issue of uh, um um Wine and wine. Yeah, a woman can marry a woman for a husband. Secondly, when a man is that when a man died and he is still he has he has no child to replace him and he died and um, the wife can decide to marry another woman and once she marry another woman she will arrange she will arrange for another man to come and kind of have a affair with her to to have a child so this is why you know why it's kind of surrogate you know you know this surrogate you people are learning now it's i think it has somehow a place in evil culture based on this culture of one yellow line kind of surrogate you marry somebody for your husband on behalf of your husband to have a child for him when your husband is late and the, another situation is when a man have no child, the first daughter can decide, can decide to marry another woman, 
to bear a child in the name of her father. So that when the father dies, uh-huh, this child will now replace the family lineage. Or Ari Kuchi. We heard such like Ubie China. You know, most of this culture are enshrined in even the names we bear. Ubie China. It's not Ubie China, it's Ubie China. Ubie is talking about home, your lineage, your ancestral lineage. Ye China, let it not block. Let it not close down because there's no child to replace it. You see the origin of that name. So, the people who believe in, you know, lineage, every man should have someone that will replace him, you know, when he's no more, when he's nowhere to be found. So, this is when a woman might decide if to marry someone, a fellow woman, get another man to impregnate her so that her own father will have a name. Yes, another issue is this, a woman too can marry another woman for her husband. It's not just her husband going to marry someone else, or maybe she finds someone for her husband, her husband will go and, she will be the one to go and pay the wife. So it's as if the woman is under her, she is the one marrying.